Looking ahead towards the weekend, and it does look like this fantastic weather will continue here in the Midlands, allowing places to continue the dry out after all the rain that they got from Edalia yesterday. So more beautiful weather, lots of sunshine tomorrow, low humidity, temperatures even a couple degrees cooler, maybe only topping around 83 degrees. Very similar for your Saturday, maybe a touch more clouds for our Saturday, but still going to be dry. And then back to the sunshine, things starting to warm up a little bit on Sunday as we do get back into the mid 80s. But we are looking at a beautiful stretch of some below average temperatures over the next couple of days. So it does look like if you want to head out and enjoy some of those final summer activities for your Labor Day weekend, should have some beautiful weather for that. Right now, temperatures across the Palmetto State sitting in those 70s for most of the region. We got 74 in Columbia, 73 in Aiken, 72 right now in Newberry, 73 in Orangeburg. It's 77 degrees in Charleston. Out at the bus stop tomorrow morning, you could expect some very pleasant conditions. Temperatures around 65 degrees, so kind of a cool, Chris, almost like a fall-like start to our Friday. For the afternoon, 80 degrees as those kids are getting off the school bus with plenty of sunshine, so just about as good as they can get for this first day of September. What we have is Edalia making its way farther out into the Atlantic. High pressure to the northeast is sending down that drier air with that northeast breeze and helping to keep this rain away from us back across Georgia, Florida, and over into Alabama. So we're going to have another sunny and dry day. That high pressure then begins to slide even closer to us, helping to keep the rain to our south and giving us more sunshine into your Labor Day weekend. And it's just going to sit pretty much right over top of us all the way through the weekend. So just a stretch of beautiful weather as that high pressure just suppresses all those rain chances. So we'll just continue to dry out and allow for some nice weather. And with that high kind of coming in from the northeast, it's going to keep temperatures below average the next couple days. So we do see those 80s sticking around. Now that high is going to start to slide to the south heading into about Monday and Tuesday. That's when you start to get the return flow coming around the back side of this. So we do think heading into next week, that's when our temperatures start to warm up a little bit. So we'll keep an eye on that. But you can see even into next Wednesday, still dry. Now here comes tropical storm Edalia again. It's actually going to be turning and making its way towards the northeast as we get towards the middle and end of next week. Also in the tropics, we've still got Hurricane Franklin winds of 85 miles per hour, but it's going to continue to push off to the east and away from us. And as it gets over the northern Atlantic should weaken, but you can see it's going to be sticking around for quite some time. Still, we also have tropical storm Jose. You can see very just a tight little center winds though up to 60 miles per hour. And it's going to drift off to the north and should get wrapped up in the Hurricane Franklin later on tonight and then eventually into our Friday. So for your 10 day forecast, 83 degrees tomorrow, also 83 on Saturday with just a few more clouds, but still looking good and low humidity. 86 with a touch more humidity returning and then 91 for your Labor Day. And then you can see the 90 stick around, but dry weather all the way through next Thursday. Just a slight chance for a few showers trying to make their way back into the region as we head towards next Friday, Saturday and Sunday. But it does look like some uh, near seasonal temperatures near 90 degrees by the time we get towards next weekend. So a good looking forecast heading into the weekend, Cynthia.